Hello diamonds and welcome back to the Hornet season 3. I have some plans for today and I hope yesterday's was not uh, too difficult to follow as I had a lot of information and I might have been slightly harsh uh, on Rebel because well I took it as a challenge to give full review. But today I have planned to visit some other places to review and yeah. Also, I have done some changes in my area, but it's nothing to do with those buildings over here. Namely, I actually started with the idea to have a park. And well, because Echo has many problems, then it looks like it does now. So one thing that I really dislike about Echo is that uh, the grass can grow offset and therefore it can really go over the roads and everything. So the best way to, uh, is to use this type of block. And I mean, it kind of is nice, but it's not perfect. So the second problem I have is that if I want to put like the square pots under the ground, the dirt will never go flush against the edge. Like with other blocks, it fits in perfectly. So I'm actually thinking if I should find a way to get uh, a lot of green bricks and just make the old grass area with bricks. I also placed few orders uh, in my shop for like the benches and lights and even the signs. But well, at the moment, no one has really fulfilled them, which is totally expected as it's not super active. Like uh, we do have people still playing, but not so much. But yeah, so I was thinking that I want to make a park. So, so I even tried to come up with a name which probably the most appropriate is Donzo Park, because, well, everything is Donzo. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I have done. But yeah, so today my plan is to visit few uh, people on the server. So let me give a quick plan. So namely, as yesterday we were all around this area here, I think it's appropriate to also see Simmy's location here. And I know that uh, uh, Jim has, Jim Airy has few locations. And like, there's something here, but I'm not really expecting too much. There's one other location here. So we can take a quick look to see if there's anything interesting. But his main place that I'm a little bit interested in is over here. So that's probably where we can see majority of his stuff. And because it's off the main road, there's no chance we really end up there. And perhaps tomorrow's episode, we can take a look on both the Sentinel and also the Kibiras, because they're no longer active, unfortunately. It's like Kibiras has been offline for over nine days and Sentinel here has been offline for how long? Over 10 days, so yeah, they're not, definitely not active, so. so yeah, we can at least see what they managed before the farming was killing them. But anyway, I will quickly hop to the first uh, site and we can take from there. So over here is Simi's place. It actually looks fantastic with like all the detail, like you can see there's like proper chimney and even the smoke is coming out of it. And the Ashley limestone together with tier 4 composites, it looks amazing. So quite well decorated building. And I'm really interested to see what lies inside because it's just so good. And even like the stands for the fountains, it's perfect. I do love it. So anyway, inside first is, well, the store itself, where you can buy a lot of different things. So for example, few roads, modern upgrade ones, steel blades, foods, so pretty much anything. So it's kind of mixed store. I do like the large pass mat to be in front. I mean, it does kind of feel like something that you would have at the entrance of the building. So not sure why the devs haven't uh, made something for that. And the opposite side, there is a fireplace. And what I do like is that it's properly done. So the chimney actually is a chimney so so yeah perfectly done i like it too much <laughs> so anyway on the back side there's some type of seating area it's probably for custom orders or something 
So it's a little bit mixed because there are di different materials all around and even the bench and the table are different. But it's kind of nice. I do like the small window on there. There's, of course, some paper creatures as well, which is always nice. A light. Storage under the ceiling, which I do feel that maybe it's not the best, considering that the building itself is like so high here. But it's still kind of convenient. Now in the kitchen, I can first see that the floor is with the Ashley limestone and as I've mentioned many times before, I do not like how many of those ashlar blocks look like, uh, especially when they're in the floor style, because they they look like they're dirty. Honestly, it looks like someone has had some powder and just pushed it over and then everything is everywhere. So I wish the game had like clean option. So I do understand that the rock needs to look a bit, bit nicer, but honestly, like, if we really pay that much money, we would want to have it as clean as possible. And also it's kind of low resolution, so it's another thing. But anyway, so if you look around the kitchen, well, there's no light at the moment, unfortunately. But it is quite decent. It has dining table, three different materials, of course. Oh, is it? It's all hardwood, isn't it? Wow. Everything is composite hardwood, but different colors. The devs don't know how to make things look the same, it seems. So I would have expected everything to look the same color if it's the same material. Because like, if you take, for example, oak, you don't want it to look like, I don't know, palm. So yeah, it's kind of interesting how <laughs> the different color comes out. But anyway, the kitchen also has the kitchen corner. It's really nice window. It kind of fits around here and you can put some of the spices probably on top of it. So yeah, kind of nice. Then baking oven. It would be nice if the game also had kind of uh, a chimney from that that is functional. And also I do wish the game had pass through options for all those things. So we don't need to have full block emptiness because it definitely does affect the aesthetic a bit, but it's understandable. So your kitchen is quite nice. I do like it. And now we can quickly hop in and see what else is here. Ooh, there is access to the mine just next to the staircase. We might need to check it out later. But yeah, when we go inside, there's a lot of different styles of blocks. There's a little gap, so you might fall in if you're not careful enough, especially if someone is coming down. But yeah, it's not too bad. And upstairs, we can see there is a living room. It's a little bit empty, but it does have everything you need. I do like that you have really big window from the floor to like eye height. And it probably could be higher even, and it would still look good. So yeah, you can just chit chat here with your friends and have a good view outside. And on the back side is also a foot and couch. It looks nice. You also have quite good view outside, I guess. You can see the jungle. And yeah, light and one of the swans. And yeah, this looks like also kind of like it should be some type of chimney or something. Like I've seen a few of those chimney style things, but or even water drainage. But yeah, it's it's kind of unique. And yeah, I understand full style from outside. Let's see what's here. A bathroom. So again, using the same style of mixed limestone and uh, composites. It's quite nice. Like everything is decently handy. Maybe like having the house one step closer to the bath would be nice, but it's still good. And the window has the blinds. Perfect. Looks, looks super good. So yeah, nothing to really complain about. Maybe just the light, which might be difficult to get at the moment. On here, there's quite big bedroom. It has even a plant inside, which I do like. Small kitty. And yeah, the dress and the bed is half hidden, which I also do like. Also blind, so the sun doesn't really uh, wake you up so easily. And I do also like this mixture of the 
stone parts on the back. So the only thing I probably don't like is that it makes this block stand out quite a bit more. So yeah, otherwise it's yeah perfect. And this door is supposed to go outside. Seems so we might need to go the other way as the door is currently locked. So let's see if we can see where it goes. So outside. So it comes all the way back here. So we can see that there's some stairs and also ladder to go on top of the roof. And yeah, on the roof side, we can actually see that on the back side, there's the chimney block as well. So goes from somewhere inside. Hmm, interesting. And yeah, then this superior chimney over here. So yeah, you can probably see from this side how the game doesn't really care about it, but it looks perfect from certain angles. So yeah, and yeah, few of the windmills to get mechanical power. It's quite nice. But yeah, if we go down, I think it's yeah, it's the chimney for the, uh, the um, iron stove. Yeah, stove. <laughs> Don't know why I'm trying to make sounds that make no sense. And the small garden in the front as well. It's quite nice. But yeah, now I want to check out the mine as well that is underneath. So is there any good way to get there other than from inside? Probably not. So let's quickly hop back inside and check it out. Yeah, all the garden corners are very really nice. So if we hop inside, we can go down. There's of course a lot more piping and stuff. There's even a lift inside any other mining facilities as well and yeah we can see that the chimney here goes into the bigger one as well but good and the different levels there's a sink underneath the research corner some storage and on the back side of course happily we do have ladder as well so we can easily go out water filtering is functional and we can see that this water is being reused, which I think in many areas in the world, when you do any type of mining or mining related work, you actually do need to recycle. Of course, this part of the pipe is not really connected, but I expect that it would be reconnected into the system. So probably not for like drinking, but for mining operations, recycling this water would be very good. Then a lot of storage which always is good and yeah that's pretty much all there is rest is all well really deep so can we go around i i do tend to get stuck very easily so is it through here no there's no way down from this corner so, so there's only one way which is well this way so yeah, I know that I can't go outside with the lift because it's off limits, but we can see how all the tailings have been moved down here. And it says room unclaimed. Room is flooded. Hmm, very interesting. I don't see any flooding anywhere. The game is very interesting, I must say. It's maybe on the upper levels, so actually let's quickly go there. So, so can we see any flooding over here? This coal mine, quite nice. But I don't see any flooding here either. Even in the back corner, there's no flooding. Hmm. So it's probably related to the upstairs, what we saw. So this is just access to this floor. There's also some storage over here. Closed door for different type of access roads. Wow. It's underground roads going everywhere. And it goes all the way to Rebel's Corner, it seems. Nothing going out, so not sure why. 
But yeah, it's kind of interesting. So yeah, I think that's all there is. So yeah, just getting out. And I also noticed that there's a new road here that goes all the way uh, to this side. So we can see Rebels places straight from here. And yeah, I think this road was in such a bad condition that it was just safer to close this road and oh, move everything over to the main roads. But anyway, now let's see if we can see anything interesting in uh, in the Jim Ares locations. And I'm already flying around so we can see. Ooh, that's quite big pineapple. Oh, that's quite nice. Decently done. So yeah, I, I kind of do like it. And I reckon that this cap is only because there was dirt inside and the ocean just took it over. But yeah, otherwise it's perfect. Like everything is ready to harvest. That's nice. And on the back side, the other farm here is all about taros. So, so yeah, kind of nice. So I will now quickly fly over to his main area and we can take a good look at there as well. So first thing when you're getting over to Jim Ares place is this bridge. I do still feel like it needs some type of support. But yeah, so he's going quite nice here. So saying that built by him, just clap for him when you use it. I'm, I'm actually keeping both of my hands on the wheel when I drive. So I can't really clap. And at the moment I might be running, but well, the game does take away all the hands. But yeah, it's kind of nice forest roads. You can see a lot of stuff all around. There's some type of building that seems to be abandoned. It's kind of mine entrance as well, so not sure what was working there. But you can see that Jim Mary's place is right here. It does have parking space. And yeah, of course the shop name is a little bit strong at here. So I'm not sure if I should pronounce it any different, but yeah. So when we go inside, I mean, I literally see nothing. But the kitchen seems to be working, a lot of storage. I almost thought that there was store here. Let's see. Yeah, there should be store here. Damn, this game. So I think I need to relog because I need to see the store. So I'll be right back. So we are back. As we can see that we finally do have proper shop here. So like all this storage was invisible. And even the doors over here, there's nothing. This game really hates everyone. Because that's what Talonara always says as well when the game is behaving badly. that It hates you. And it's totally true. Anyway, it's quite okay kitchen for butchery and uh, and campfire cooking. So not too bad. On the back sides, loads of storage and machinery. On this side, again outside, but it does have some type of balcony here. Have to check it out as well. And on this building, there's housing, which I will try to go through very quickly. So bounce from, I mean. It does have everything you need, but at the same time, the towers are a little bit far from both the sink and the bus stop. So maybe it should be on this side and then some more decorations on that side. Just a thought. Living room has pretty much everything. The mount is a little bit too close to the floor, but it's okay. There's no fire in the fireplace and no chimney. I mean, that's probably why there's no fire. And here is bedroom. Because the tree is growing through, which is not the best. And yeah, the beds are kind of nice. It's kind of a cozy place. But yeah, like both beds have a little bit difficulty getting in. Because, well, one side is fully blocked. So we can quickly also run upstairs. Really interesting staircase area. So up here is another bedroom with quite few trees growing through. So this is kind of like lower end place. 
it seems. But not too bad. I mean, I've seen much worse places. But now I want to go on top of the roof here. So we can see on this side this balcony that has no entrance. Okay. How do I get up here? Let's see quickly. I think, yeah, on this side there's a staircase which I didn't see. So yeah, just storage and kitchen area. So more cooking stuff it seems. And when we come on top of the roof area, there's another building, but yeah, it just has a few of the modern stoves. So yeah, and one milling station as well. So a little bit empty. And yeah, on the roof there is just two wind turbines for electrical power. Yeah, kind of decent look. So yeah, maybe not the best build, but still kind of good. So I do like it. And yeah, I'm trying out a few different things in this video. Probably you have seen that uh, I make the uh, fade to not happen between the cliffs. So only at the beginning and at the end. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's episode.